Um, I've been asked to share my experiences. Uh, most of my experience is right here in this room. I can see them here. I can see Dr. Zalarika. I can see DT Man who trained my daughter. I can see Mr. P.K. Das who held my hand when there was nobody else to hold it. Uh, can I do now please? Can you hear me? I can see my good friend Sajad. I can see Nelly Man. Uh, to be very honest, I'm, uh, I was wondering like, why have I been called and I'm not the only one. My wife, whose friends have been taught by Chaudhary Ma'am, she asked me, what are you doing there on the same stage with this? <laughs> My daughter, she asked me, did he man being felicitated? I can't understand, but what are you doing there? <laughs> So in fact, I think she is here because of Diti Ma'am more and less for me. No, no, no. I'm here for you, Daddy. I'm here for you. <laughs> it's been a long, long journey and I have so much to say and so little time because I've learned so much. See, I'm not a teacher. I'm a facilitator. I'm not a trainer either. A trainer stands by you. I'm the, uh, I'm the gardener who plants a seed and moves on. And no one remembers who plants the seed, but the tree grows. But that is what I have in my mind, and that is what a facilitator is. You start the process, you move on, and even if you are not there, the process continues. Initially, when I moved into training and development, that is more than almost 30 years ago, there was a lot of ego. We walked into a training workshop thinking we knew it all. As I matured in life, Oh, I forgot one person, my friend Poinu, who's sitting at the back there, who's not only my chauffeur, my assistant, he's driven me to every workshop that I've conducted. Without him, over the last 10, 12 years, if he had not been there, he's not even understanding that I'm talking about him. But then he's been an inseparable companion for me. I'm grateful he's here too. So I was saying that ego vanishes because you realize that you need to learn. And then I started learning. And I've learned so much from the people in my workshop. I won't call them my trainees. I won't call them my students, certainly. But they have taught me so much. Whether it be knowledge, whether it be whatever. I've absorbed. I've become a sponge. And I am, if anybody is to be thanked, it's them. My teachers who are gods. My teachers who taught me that I have three teachers I can remember in my mind now who taught me that teaching can be fun. And we would wait for them to walk into a workshop, into our classes, and make it fun and it would happen, whether it's English literature or Bengali or whatever it was. So that's, that's what it has been. My late father-in-law, Dr. Girish Medhi, a couple of days before he passed away, he said something beautiful to me which I've treasured and I carry it with me. He said in order to be, he was, a, he was a wonderful teacher. More than being a good doctor, he is widely regarded as a fantastic teacher. Uh, he said there are five things you need to have to be a good teacher or a good well, trainer, facilitator. And he said first is Vidya, knowledge. Then comes Buddhi, intelligence. Then comes Bochon, the communication skills to Pass it down. Then comes Bopu, the personality of a teacher, of a trainer, should be all pervading, it should be impressive. And I think there's one more thing which is most important, and that is what I've been working on ever since the ego phase passed, and that is Binoy or humility. So, Vitta, Bhutti, Bachan, Bopu, and Binoy. The ability to learn and respect your students and your trainees. I'm still working on it. There's a long journey left. I'm a little embarrassed to be here. I'm extremely proud. I accept this award in all humility for my the gods who trained me, for my students, if I may call them that. And the worthy sitting here who have I can I remember you allowing me to do a workshop in your institute. I remember making, I would see DT ma'am uh, when I would go to pick her up in school and how she would handle the children. That was something to learn. 
we can ask sir, when I was about to quit Guwahati and go away, he said, don't worry, we can work together. Sajjad, my friend, was standing back and he called me the other day. I was quite surprised that we haven't met in for almost 12 years. How come you remember me? It's this nice city that I'm here. Thank you all, thank you very much. It's lovely being here. I'm not ever nervous, but today I'm slightly flustered. I have lost the words. And I hope you will forgive me and excuse me if I have said anything on the line. Thank you very much.